So guys, here we go. In this video, I'm taking one of my Volvo 740s with me over to Germany to live. I say one because I've regretfully decided to sell Ali, the Volvo 744, mainly due to import challenges and costs. It's made it just not viable for me to take it, but I did manage to at least take it for one last drive and one last smile. But the Volvo you can see here, that's already German registered, so there's no worries there. But what is a worry is the hot start issue that I'm having with it. Will it make the trip? And on the way there, I also stop in to see a friend and his very special car. So make sure you stick around for that. There's a nice bit of old start, cold start action. This way? Oh, they're gonna search me. Oh no. Oh, no. This is gonna hold me up massive. Proper search. Well, he didn't have to take out any boxes or do any of that. He just asked me a lot of questions about weapons and all this kind of stuff if I've got any and all this I've got to tell him about the pump action shotgun I've got but should be fine just did the fuel calculation not that good 10 litres per 100 kilometres highway so the town drop, the town mileage will be bad. It's just full guys. I mean heavy, like heavy, heavy. Some of those boxes yesterday, quite a few of them, I struggled to lift them. They're heavy. I've got lots of tools and things like that that I've had there that was in the UK for a long time. One box I almost can't lift and there's a lot more that are just like really heavy guys. Like she weighs an absolute ton. I've got the roof rack on as well. I know she can do better. I think it's got something to do with this issue she's got. She's obviously running slightly rich and that's why I'm having a warm start issue. I'm just glad that she is running. She is starting, she is driving. That's what matters, isn't it? We've just got to get her there and eventually we will figure out this issue. Oh, it's getting tight, isn't it? Don't make me stop on the hill. One of the last ones on. tight here isn't it? <laughs> bit sad. A little bit sad. This guy behind me had the right idea. Starting up his car early to make sure it will start. Okay, here we go. Throttle open. That took a lot longer than I wanted it to. Tachometer's bouncing. It's never normally, never normally does that. Tachometer's jumping. Maybe it's the crank sensor. Just doesn't make sense. Just don't cut out, for fuck's sake. Please don't cut out. 
Yeah, she was fluttering a little bit and the tachometer was jumping. I'm pushing my luck with this car, aren't I? This could very easily, you know, if it is the crank sensor, it just decides, okay, I've had enough now. You know, maybe it's just oil soaked from an oil leak or just it's on its way out. And if I didn't stop here, if I stopped here on the ferry, but she's never done that before with the tachometer bouncing after it started and it like stuttering a little bit. I'm definitely pushing my luck, that's for sure. If I hadn't have held the throttle open, it just would not have started because it's happened before. So there we go, got myself a sandwich and a coffee. It was about 500 euros. Uh, yeah, this one's doing great. No worries at all. Um, yeah, she's just getting it done. Oh, no leaks. I should probably check the oil because I haven't done that for quite a long time. So I just dipped the oil stick. So that's the oil level. And it's been like that, I think since I changed the oil on it, whenever that was, like I just drive this thing so much. I've done thousands of kilometers in it, well, even thousands of miles now, since changing the oil. And it just doesn't need topping up. It's just, it doesn't burn any, doesn't lose any. No drips on the ground ever. Doesn't burn through any oil. Unless it does use a bit of oil, because they should use a tiny bit. And then the level's not changing because it's being replaced with fuel because she's, she's a bit thirsty at the moment. But that's always one to watch out for. But the oil's clean and you'll know if you're running too rich because your oil will go black very quickly. And that, that oil is still pretty fresh, golden brown. So yeah, no, she's a good one, this one. might be rough but that's part of the charm i think isn't it yeah that's true like it, it almost just, looks it just fits to the car it does fit yeah it really does yeah with stuff like this i'd almost want to keep it just as it is i yeah. don't think i'd want to restore it yeah it looks great i mean I, I need to do some some things because it's just getting wet wet inside yeah will get some rubbers the on there rubbers and the yeah window uh, silt. Yeah. But I want to keep it as much yeah. as, as much like that. Yeah. She so said that that these very few of them were fitted with the same engine that was in the Amazon, the early. Yeah, it's it's like the last 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 few or something. I don't know. They use they use the, the Volvo engines. Yeah. Oh wow, that is gorgeous. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, I, th I think maybe it's my favourite, like, cars of the era, the yeah. red the red and cream interior, same with the Amazons. 60s are all. 60s style, yeah, 50s, 60s. Ah, oh, yes, this is it, isn't it? Yeah. Proper, authentic, yeah. classic experience. Biggest steering wheel yeah. ever, like a coach steering wheel. You can see here the, these yeah. welds. <laughs> all the patches. Gosh. Yeah, it's a bit daunting, isn't it? Yeah. But like, as long as it's in one piece. Should we try to start it? Let's see. You say try. Don't you have faith in it? Uh, Is it sometimes a bit difficult? When did you last run it? Uh, actually, it's, uh, October 10th. Oh, really? It's 
been a while then. It's really slow, isn't it? The six volt. Yeah. Really slow. But I think it's it's the connection. Is the choke? Is the choke all the way out? Is it? Yeah. Magic hands, that is. She stinks, doesn't she? Yeah. Runs Smell very, of success. Runs very rich right now. Yeah. It's a happy car, isn't it? It's a happy yeah. place to be. It just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Yeah. And the brakes still work. That's good. Which is nice. I mean, I've refreshed them. Slightly to the left. Only a little bit, yeah, not yeah. bad at all. Yeah. It's like the sort of car that you would see like in Havana or something, <laughs> just driving around, you know. It has, it has a slight American touch. Yeah, it. yeah. Here we go then guys, next day, we've got about five or six hours of driving now. We've got to go from, uh, where are we now? Uh, I can't even say it, Sankt Augustine, near Cologne, near Bonn. And now we've got to go uh, to Bavaria, to, to uh, yeah, like central Bavaria. So yeah, let's do it. This is bullshit. No sausage and egg McMuffin. They don't do sausage and egg McMuffin. They just, you got you can get like a chicken one, first thing in the morning, or uh, some other weird one. 
or you can get a bacon and egg muffin a tiny one okay that's fine but they don't do hash browns maybe i should turn around and go back forget the volvos i'm going to turn it into like a vlog about life in germany as an expat as a moaning british expat <laughs> bathroom and an auto stop a rest highway rest stop in the middle of nowhere like it's proper countryside now mostly and there's basically a sex shop within the men's toilets you can get everything you need typical germany it, it the cliche or the uh, stereotype is true and also one of these if you just need to let out some frustration Made it guys, made it. That was a fair old trip. I don't know how many kilometers it was. I actually did way more in Lily, but I didn't talk about how many I'd done in that video. And I'm not really gonna add it up and do it in this one because if I say, oh, I did 2000 kilometers or 1500 kilometers, whatever it's been, uh, probably not even that actually, but whatever I say, someone or, or a few people will always comment and say, well, I did 10 and a half thousand miles last Friday night with only three wheels and running on two cylinders what's the big deal so so yeah she's done great she's done absolutely fantastic of course she she's never really let me down neither is the other one that's why i love them so much and i love them a bit more each time i do a big trip like this in them so and not only was it a big trip this time but she's literally carried my whole life you know over the continent so yeah love it to pieces so i can't wait to get it into this garage here you're looking at one of two of my garages and there's one behind us as well definitely going to feel like i've won the lottery or something like that uh, there's a bit of yard space as well so obviously i'll show you guys around a little bit better in a future video and we'll actually do some work normal service will resume i'll actually pick up a spanner again and actually start like doing repairs because i can't remember the last time i actually like did a, like a tinkering video and actually like did a a video where I actually was on the tools like actually did something so it's just been a lot of drive and a lot of waffle and a lot of life stuff and not actually much repairing and fixing so yeah that'll be coming up in the next video once we're moved in here and we are settled so i'll see you then and thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it <laughs>